welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm doing a little bathroom refresh in our main bathroom, my husband's bathroom. So nothing dramatic, just some fun updates. And I'm thinking about doing an accent wall. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. Um, playing around with that still. So really excited to kind of do something different, but nothing like crazy, crazy. But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it will be crazy, who knows. <laughs> because we're still in a pandemic at the point of me filming this video, there are no stores open still so most of the items are gonna be from online shopping I'll be purchasing so I'm um, a lot of Amazon probably and Target and then I'll probably pick up a few things here at my local Walmart so um, that's pretty much where the majority will come from so I'll be sure to like share all the items I get and where I got them from if you have questions you can of course let me know so I'm just gonna do like a little before and after so I'll kind of show you where it's at now and then show you a few things along the way and then you can see the reveal at the end so I hope you guys enjoy this and Let's get started on this bathroom refresh. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little tour of the bathroom that we're gonna just kinda freshen up. This is my hubby's bathroom. And yeah, it's pretty simple, nothing crazy going on. We have a statue right here named Ozzy. Just, just didn't know if you knew that, but we do. <laughs> oh, he's moving. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a little freshen up with some decor, I'm done with this sign, new mirror, light fixture. And then just kind of, yeah, new probably new shower curtain, new rug, just kind of make it cute in here. So that's what I'll be up to in here. I can't decide which one you guys. This one has the gold frame, which I love, and then this one has like the light wood. Hmm. Haul at Walmart wasn't too bad. So I ended up getting two of these like long trailing plants. Um, Cause I'm gonna put some plants in there. And then I found this really cute fern. So I got this vase for that guy, cause I love that. And then this guy, I'm gonna paint white. So that will be a fun little project. Got these little towels, those are a really cute design. They match the rug that I bought on Amazon. And then this is the frame I ended up going with. We'll see. Um, once we get everything together, I'll see if that's the frame I want. So yeah, overall, not too bad. We'll see how everything kind of comes together. Good morning. So I decided I'm gonna do the herringbone print uh, paint wall in, on the back wall of the bathroom. Um, I really love that pattern and I thought that would be really fun for this bathroom. So right now I'm just getting everything like measured out and then taping everything and then I'm gonna be painting. And yeah, I'm really excited because I've not done any herringbone type styles in my house yet. So this will be kind of a nice different theme in here. So let's get started. to give you kind of an idea of how I did my measurements because it's it's not that hard. I think the hardest part is getting everything measured and taped off. So making sure your lines are straight. Um, so what I did is I just took this wall, divided it in half and found the center and then I put a line down the center and then I just went from center to this wall, did a line, centered it. Same with like this wall to the center put a center and then I did one more strip down between these two centers. It's pretty even, I did measure like in between. They're off like maybe a quarter inch each way which I really don't care about those types of things. So um, no one's really gonna notice a quarter inch or not. There's the lines, they're all taped. Now the fun part, I get to do all the diagonal stripes. Fun, fun. All right, so now I'm starting the hair and bone diagonal stripes. I just did one section because I just wanted to make sure that I liked the measurement that I did in between. I didn't want 
too much but I didn't want too little because it's a small wall so um, I'm doing the herringbone eight inches apart so that's the width between each of those so I gotta get this entire wall diagonal <laughs> We got it all taped off. Looks so cool. I mean, besides the blue, obviously. I'm really excited to paint this. Um, so around the toilet was a little tricky, but I wanna show you what I ended up doing. So I just went and got a piece of paper and lined it up with you know, the width of this. And then I just used that as my template to guide me all along the toilet because that was like really difficult. Yay, I'm excited. All right, time to paint. So I'm doing... Drum roll, please. White. What a shocker, I'm doing white. No, this is actually the primer I'm gonna do first. Do one coat of primer, then I should just be able to get away with just doing one coat of paint. Yay, let the fun begin. This is the primer I use and have always used, and it's awesome. So I just stick with what I like, that's it. is done now it's dried and we are ready to paint shocking I'm painting it white <laughs> specifically delicate white is what I'm painting okay so I'm just waiting for the paint to dry in the bathroom and while I have all my paint clothes on and I'm already full of paint I figured this is a good time to paint this cute little pot. Don't you just love these little guys? They're the cutest and they come in all sorts of different sizes. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my exterior paint that I used outside on all those projects that I talked about in my one weekend vlog that I love this paint so much because it's one coat and it truly is. <laughs> so we'll see if it's one coat on um, pots as well. As I'm painting this, I just want to show you kind of what I'm doing. So this brush is like an old brush and like the bristles are kind of separated. But I like that because it's kind of giving this some texture. So I think I'm just going to kind of roll with that. That's really cool. Now, I love how the texture came out on this with my brush. Can you kind of see that? It kind of like peeks through the um, like terracotta colors. So I love that. I'm gonna leave it. Cause as I started painting it, I'm like, yep, I love having that texture. And then I only went halfway down inside the pot. I just wanted to make sure that wherever we put the soil up to that that was covered with white as well. So yeah, I just went halfway down cause most of that's gonna be soil covered anyways. So let's get this taped down and see how the wall looks. bathroom is finished. I love, love, love everything about it. I can't wait to show you. So here we go. Ready? Here it is, you guys. I love it so much. So I ended up making a new towel rack here. Just had some scrap pine and then I did the early American stain on it and then I added these new hooks to it. Um, love these hooks. The hooks are from Amazon. This wall. So you guys, it really wasn't that hard. I'm so surprised and was very impressed <laughs> on how it all turned out. It turned out so cool. I love it so much. And all I did was paint on top of the paint that was already in here and 
then yeah, it's pretty much perfect. I ended up putting some greenery in here. So I have this little plant stand. The plant stand is actually from Walmart. I found that, I thought it was really cute. And then I got that terracotta vase that I painted, added that plant to it. This is a really cool piece of art. So um, <laughs> kind of different from like what I thought I'd be doing in here, but I just love this simple classic design. I went ahead and got this from Etsy. So I love getting prints from Etsy and this is one of them. You can just download them and then get them printed as you want. So that's what I did here. And the frame I got from Walmart. Another favorite of mine is this round black mirror. This was an Amazon find. It has a really wide metal frame on it and I just love how it looks in here. And then the lights are also from Amazon. I got the gold with the black and then like the bubble vases, which I love that style. So I wanted to actually have the lights facing down, but the mirror was way too wide and it didn't fit. Um, so we had to flip them up, but actually I don't mind it. It looks really cool. So I'm fine how that turned out, but I'm loving like the gold style right now. And that's why I ended up getting this gold soap dispenser. This is from Target, love how that looks. And then I got some matching Kleenex box holder, which has the gold trim on the bottom. That's from Amazon. And then this fern I got from Walmart and then this little vase has like gold um, holder with the black uh, vase so I love how that looks and then the little towels are from Walmart I was actually really impressed with these towels they're really cute and they work perfect in here and then um, we just did a matching towel holder right here too to match the one along the shower over there. This rug, you guys, oh my gosh. I love, love, love this rug. This is another Amazon one. Oh, such a pretty design. And then the shower curtain is from Target. And I went really simple in here since we have the accent wall. I didn't want to do anything crazy with the shower curtain. So it's a really pretty simple design on here. And then on the bottom, it has this pretty detail on it. So love how that kind of matches like the rug. So one thing I want to mention about the shower curtains. So when I buy new shower curtains, I actually always buy two curtains because I love the ruffle effect of shower curtains. So if you just buy one, it's like, just straight but I rather have it gathered and ruffled together so that's why I always buy two and then the middle seam I don't even know where it is because you can't see it because it's ruffled together oh right here I just take pins and I pin it together and then that's just like part of one of the ruffles and then you can't even tell but yeah I love the ruffle effect of having two shower curtains so that's why I always buy two of the same one so I can make it look ruffled so there you guys have it there is my DIY hair and bone. Nice little fresh update in here. I just love how it turned out. Everything looks so put together and I love the design. All right, you guys, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY uh, bathroom refresh with the herring bone um, accent wall. Not hard to do. Like I said, it was actually really easy. You just have to get it all measured out. So, so much fun. I hope you like this. If you like these types of videos, the DIY type things, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I don't know what you're waiting for, but be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.